Hey Jags, welcome to DVTV. I'm your new host, Ariel Martinez. Welcome back to a new school year. As you know, we had our first Jaguar showcase, which was a huge success. Thank you to the parents who came to support all the events. This week on DVHS Events, Desert View hosted the annual showcase, which features a bit of what this school has to offer. There were many groups representing DV, such as our very own Mariachi del Desierto. <laughs> The science department was hitting the ground running with some very cool science experiments. But they weren't the only ones bringing their A-game. Miss Vaughn was advocating for your health, giving us a lot of valuable health advice. On top of these already outstanding booths, we got to see our counselors in action, along with AVID, FFA, and so much more. Good job, Jaguars, for making this a fantastic evening. Our football team had its first game against Catalina Foothills on the August 29th. Here's a quick recap of that game. Audio. This is my 36th year overall as coaching, my 29th year at Desert View as a boys and girls cross country and track coach. And over the summer, we basically got into shape, um, you know, went from aerobic to anaerobic running, we went to hit the hills all over too. So I'll try to end the season with a qualifier to the state championships and doing well at the state championships. That's our team and individual goal. New to Desert View or new to high school life, our administrators have a few words they'd like to say to you. Hello, my name is Jose Gustav. I am the proud principal of Desert View High School. <laughs> Hello, my name is uh, Mr. Hodgers. I'm the assistant principal. Hello, my name is Armando Valenzuela III, and I'm the principal of Desert View's Freshman Academy. Hi, my name is Mrs. Moret, and I'm one of the counselors here at school. Hi, my name is Glenda Hood and I'm one of the counselors here at, at uh, DV. Uh, I, my job here, uh, besides working with the kids, with the seniors a lot, uh, we do work with the uh, scholarships, the ASVAB, that kind of a thing. Good morning Desert View, my name is Mrs. McCauley and I'm a counselor here at Desert View High School. I'm in charge of students that are with the EVID program. Um, I'm here to let you know about the ACT and SAT. It is offered monthly and you can pick up information in the counseling office. Um, preparation can be done online with the www.act.org or www.collegeboard.com. Hey, have a great day, Desert View. Bye-bye. I am Miss Casada. I am the counselor for the Blue Maroon team and the AVID Hi, I'm Miss Cobos. I'm a counselor. And my name is Raul Ochoa and I'm a freshman counselor in the uh, Freshman Academy. First and foremost, I want to welcome everyone back to another school year. For the club, we have gotten an interview for the new band director and ROTC leader. Check it out. My name is Miss Govan and I teach band and choir here at Desert View. Um, well, the marching band started their season yesterday at the first football game. Um, we're going to every football game this year. We'll be at all the away games and all the home games. And then in the month of October, we have our competition season. So every Saturday, we'll be at a competition with bands all over from Southern Arizona, and we'll be competing against them for rate. For a concert band in the spring, um, my hope is to take them to area and state festivals. For the jazz band, we're hoping to get more gigs around town. A lot of other schools will play at like a club or go play at the mall and get paid for it. So we're going to try to do some stuff like that to get more exposure. You expect from your students and from like the jazz band. Um, I just expect them to, you know, keep doing what they've been doing in years past. This program has been very successful and we hope to just make it better from here on out. So yeah, thank you for all of that. All yeah, of course. Of so that's the end of our interview, but thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Thank you. <laughs> I've 
taught ROTC for seven years. Prior to that, I taught elementary school. What do I plan for this year? Well, I'm, I'm going to get the cadets ready to actually compete in drill. We have an inspection from higher headquarters coming, so all of my cadets need to be able to do what's called a 30-point drill sequence. So that's a goal to get people ready by January. Desert View is great. It's, it's uh, high school, very similar to the high school I just came from. Uh, kids are all the same, and uh, the staff is friendly. So I like it a lot so far. Here's a look at our new series, College Class, which shows you rival colleges for your consideration. This new series, College Clash, is where we pit two rival contenders for your consideration and weigh the options for you to decide. Today's rivals are the University of Arizona and Arizona State University. I know that's confusing. ASU and U of A, both schools being in Arizona, if you haven't figured that out already. Like the city life? Phoenix, Arizona's capital, housed ASU and should be your go-to college. The U of A's own home city is Tucson, with a modest downtown area and amazing sights to see. The U of A is much more difficult to get into, with a mere 40,000 students attending, compared to ASU's 60,000. The U of A is well known for its field of medicine and science. Both universities offer a massive amount of scholarships, so tuition isn't something to stay up late for. Who's graduated from these schools, you ask? Anthony Robles graduated from ASU in 2011 and is well known for his wrestling career. Born with only one leg, Anthony started wrestling in 8th grade all the way through college at ASU. He currently holds a record of 122 to 23. Jerry Bruckheimer, a Hollywood producer well known for his works such as Top Gun, Titanic, and Saving Private Ryan, attended the University of Arizona before his career in filmmaking. 6 out of 10 people choose ASU over U of A, but which one is right for you? This has been College Class. Stay tuned for next week when we put together Ohio and Michigan State. All right, Jaguars, that's all for today. Thanks for watching the first episode of DVTV. And make sure to like, follow, and subscribe to us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. This is your host, Aaron Martinez, signing off.